today we are doing a before and after grooming photograph of a poodle. before and after grooming experience. I have been wanting to do a before and after grooming like photograph series for a while and Mary Caroline and Furryland uh, approached me about collaborating on a project and so I thought it was a perfect opportunity in order to get that done. And they just brought their grooming van down to the studio. We did the before pictures upstairs and then she groomed Coco right in the parking lot and then we did the after pictures a couple days later because she ended up deciding to change her mind about the color on her legs so we, we just waited and did the after pictures like two days later which is why I don't have footage of that because I forgot to bring or to set up the camera in order to get the footage of the second shoot but it looked a lot like the first shoot except she was groomed. So thank you to Coco, thank you to Mary Caroline and Furryland and thank you guys for checking out this episode of whatever my YouTube channel turns out to be. <laughs> okay, thanks guys, I appreciate it. And let me know what you think about Coco's before versus her after. Do you like a fluffier poodle? Do you like a nicely cut poodle? What do you guys think about the photo choices? We decided to go with the clean white in order to pop her off of it a little bit more. I like it. Let us know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next video.